The beautiful thing about being First Lady is that I have the privilege of meeting folks from different backgrounds and, and hearing what's going on in their lives. Know that when our men and women in uniform are called to serve, their families serve right alongside them. We are trying to end the epidemic of childhood obesity in a generation. When the world is swirling around you and you're faced with tough challenges, if your family is good, you're good. If any family in this country struggles, then we cannot be fully content with our own family's good fortune. Because that is not what we do in this country. That is not who we are. That is not who we are. Our house uh, growing up was extremely modest. I remember our bedroom being formerly the living room that my parents had divided using paneling. It basically carved the room out into two small rooms that were small enough for a twin bedroom and a desk. A special treat was that we could sleep out on the back porch when things got hot. As far as where we lived, that just wasn't an issue. I was raised to have fun where we were with what we had and it seemed like it was okay. Neither one of our parents went to college, uh, but with a lot of love, a lot of caring, we were uh, afforded an opportunity to go to college. We didn't say, you should be a lawyer or you should be a school teacher, it was, you should get an education. We had to take out student loans in order to pay for those. I know now how much my father uh, had to work and struggle because he had to take out loans um, to cover his portion of our tuition. He understood his responsibilities, that despite this hardship, despite his challenges, uh, he was going to be there for his kids, always, no matter what. My husband did not feel like MS was a battle. He would bounce out of bed and almost sing his way out of the door to work on crutches. <laughs> and that would sort of uh, wake me up. And I'm sure that did the same thing for the kids. We did a lot of laughing in our household, and all of that happened in those few little rooms. Michelle Obama now stepping into America's most traditional role, the full-time, non-paying, multidimensional job of First Lady. Well, part of what makes her extraordinary is that she has been able to continue to be down to earth even as the First Lady. I mean, she's just Michelle. Our friendship developed, I think, because we both have an interest in military families. When I met Michelle, she said, what do you think would be the issue that you're most interested in? And I said, uh, military families. And I said to Jill, I said, that's what I'd like to do. Um, and that's where it all began. We've done three tours. It's meant a lot to our family during some difficult times, just to know that there are folks in the White House rowing in the same direction with us. Yeah. Whether it be uh, helping homeless veterans through employment, trying to incorporate the military culture into the school systems, it's helping spouses find jobs, and it's all come together. She genuinely seems to care and want to know what military families are going through so that she can make changes on the national level. You all don't even ask for much, you know? Uh, it's, it's like, so we should be able to step up in whatever way we can. Who's that? One percent nice. of the country is serving to protect the freedoms of the other 99 percent of us. So my view is that there's a lot more that we can be doing for them to make that service and sacrifice a little, little easier. Oh, she's so good with young people and she sees herself in them. She treats the young children just the way she treats her own kids. And so they look at her as their mom because she is a mom. It's a natural for me to see her getting the nation's kids out there, exercising and moving around. The best way to take care of yourself is to own your health, to eat better, exercise more. It's about the whole child. It's about understanding how a child develops and how we can best put a child in a position to be successful. 
and she wanted it to be fun, to come up with Let's Move. It has such a great name. You know, Let's Move is something we do together. She is a strong woman. Uh, physically, obviously, we all saw poor Jimmy Fallon. Do more push-ups than I could do. Good, good, good. <laughs> and I thought it wouldn't be good to show off the first lady, so I stopped. <laughs> I've seen a lead by example, a get right into it, a pull up your sleeves, hula hooping, jump roping first lady. And I think that's what we need. Hello, Mrs. Obama. Hey Dave. And the number one fun fact about gardening. With enough care and effort, you can grow your own broccoli. Wow, look at this. We went to our garden and we harvested some healthy food. A lot of carrots, peas, fruit. She encouraged us to exercise more and to eat healthier. You really are a wonderful woman. I think you're the perfect wife for Obama. I am Barack Obama, and this is my wife, Michelle. Hey, I'm his date. <laughs> Family's everything. I think there's nothing more important to her than her children and her marriage and her mom and making sure that that all works well together. She was very clear, mom in chief. I heard it, <laughs> you heard it. She came in with a very clear, we're gonna make sure our kids are okay. Uh, I think every parent thinks their kids are fabulous and remarkable and special. and. Uh, my kids are fabulous and remarkable and special. And the reason they are is because of Michelle. I always say that in our household, she's the conductor, and I'm second fiddle. You know, Barack always gives me so much credit for who our girls have become. But let me tell you, um, our girls wouldn't be who they are without a man in their life who loved them deeply. What I love about my wife more than anything is she knows what's important and she knows that the best and most important legacy of anybody's life is making sure that your kids turn out all right they have good values they're kind they're caring and what's very gratifying to me is that I know the girls at this point are going to be fine because uh, they've got the best mom in the world